Now it's time for a new season. For the past four months, all of Halo 3's top teams have been sharpening their skills, and a new legion of hopefuls are waiting in the fold. Can Straight Rippin continue to build their dynasty in 2009, or will a new squad emerge to claim the first victory of the season? It's time to find out. D-Mac to the mic. D-Mac to the mic. Now that was a lot of footage right there, a lot of great highlights from the 2008 season, gentlemen. You brushed it off, you got it all, you got it. I'm tired it, of talking, man. That, that wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> but see, now, you got to think about this, though. What was your highlight from 2008 season? Highlight had, to be, highlight had to be the rise of Snipe Down. Okay. I mean, honestly, being in the league and then finally having a season where it's not the same guys, event and event and right. event over and over again. It was seeing a guy come from nowhere where I didn't even know his name to to rising to become a national champion, yep. that was an awesome story. And, and Scott, for you, you were on the other side. What was one of your highlights of uh, MLG 2008? My biggest highlight had to have been watching the league just grow. Each event, we had more competitors, more spectators, and just created the best atmosphere I've ever been able to compete in. And, and not only that, we continue with that, because this year, here in the Meadowlands, it's huge. The crowd is amazing. Everybody's here. I mean, you can't even it's see packed. the ground. It's <laughs> damn packed, right? But one of my favorite things from the 2008 season is that I love when there's a lot of action. And there was a lot of action with a lot of team movements and so forth and so on. And that did not stop from this offseason. We still had a lot of teams moving around, players switching teams and so forth and so on. Now, my question is this. What were your biggest surprises from those movements? Biggest surprise has to be the disintegration of Final Boss. The Dynasty Final Boss, it doesn't really exist anymore the way it did. Neighbor, he goes off, joins Instinct. He's playing with Walshy nowadays. Right. Ogre One went to Australia. Now he's back playing with the Incredibles behind us. And then Strong Side, he's playing with a brand new roster and status quo here. He's the veteran on the team, believe it or not, and he is going to bring three young guys and try and train them into a new squad. Meanwhile, Ogre 2, he's still trying to keep the final boss name alive. Exactly. Still trying to keep that final boss name alive. Now, Scott, who, what surprises did you see coming into this season? Easily status quo. I mean, strong side goes completely rogue, picks up three players who not too many people know about, but he finds dedication in them. And they practiced ridiculously for this event. They had six lands versus the top teams. And right. not just any teams. I'm talking 2008 national champions. Right. Straight ripping. Triggers down. Final boss. He got to be prepared. They just that. land against them. They beat those guys. They right. beat all. <laughs> Except triggers down. So, I mean, that's the thing. If you want to play well, you want to go against good competition, you got to play the best, right? Yes. Well, we definitely want to keep that going here because we got status quo coming up tonight Absolutely. we got final boss coming up tonight final boss is taking on the incredibles and we got status quo taking on new order but before we do that we're going to make sure we talk to our we got new teammates we added to our roster not only did we add scott we also added another important very important part to our broadcast team we're going to get to that in a minute but gentlemen this I atmosphere here today i mean it's just truly amazing I, I came in around 5 o'clock, well, maybe 5.20 after taking a beauty nap. Right. And I come in here, and I can't walk. I had to push past people to get to the stations and whatnot. The main stage, we have added bleachers this year. Those are all completely full. I think everyone is waiting for the matchups coming up tonight. You know, the Ogres facing off against each other. Status quo, strong side versus right. karma. That's I mean, that's a, that's an old school 1v1 rivalry right there between strong side and karma. And they're bringing it 4v4 nowadays. Exactly. Now, with the whole final boss thing going down right there, we got the Ogre Twins. They normally play together. Ever since I've been a part of this circuit, they've been playing together. And now, this time, they're playing apart. What, what do we see there? Well, I think we didn't even know if Ogre One was playing. Uh -huh. You know, he um, decided that he wanted to go back to school. But school doesn't start till after our Columbus event. So he's right <laughs> here in the Meadowlands. And he's playing with one of the funniest guys you will ever meet in Tupac back Hill One Pro. Halo 2 Pro. Right. Now he's trying to become a Halo 3 Pro. He came to the Meadowlands last year, but he got 19th. What can improve on that placing? So, Ogre 1, he's got a squad. Ogre 2, his squad looks a little bit Now, small. Scott, I knew you was very excited because we are here 9 o'clock Eastern, and 12 hours ago, you were dressed just like this, <laughs> ready to go, rocking and rolling. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. <laughs> hey, I wanted to get dressed. I'm sorry. Exactly. He likes to be prepared because he's a new member of the squad, and we also got another new member of our squad, down there on the floor right now with one of our team, our team players who's going to be playing tonight. Down there with Ogre 2, we have our new addition, sideline reporter, Julie. Thank you, Farouk. I am here with Ogre 2. Now, this is your first time playing against your brother. What is his biggest weakness? 
His biggest weakness, uh, I'd say, is he's not really taking the game competitively anymore. Is it difficult to be playing against him? Do you feel like you're missing your other half? Uh, I said this earlier, but it, it really hasn't hit me yet. I think once we both get up to our main stage, it'll be a little bit different, you know, seeing him on the other side of the other side of the stage. So it hasn't really hit me yet. And you're the last remaining member of Final Boss. So what are you expecting tonight at the Meadowlands? Uh, we're just looking to looking to do well, uh, just like any other team. We're looking to come in here and take first place. Uh, I think we have a realistic shot. We got in a lot of practice, and uh, we should do really well. Any final words for your brother? Uh, it should be interesting. It should be interesting. It most definitely should. Back to you, Farouk. All right. Thanks a lot, Julie. And interesting it will be. But, you know, we got another old face down on the sideline, our man Nexi, who's down there with Ogre One from The Incredibles. <laughs> Ogre One's not mic'd up yet. He's All right, so actually, Nexi is not ready with Ogre One right now. We're going to get him in here. But you know what? Speaking of final boss, going back to that real quick, Fear itself. Fear had us worried. A new member of the team <laughs> just got here. His flight was delayed, and he just managed to make it in time for this match. We thought we would see a, fourth, a 3v4. Yeah, you know, I was so scared for final boss here. I was talking to Ogre 2. I was like, hey, I saw Victory. I saw Macchio. Where's Fear? He's like, Booked his flight for Friday. Uh -oh. His flight's delayed, coming from the Midwest. The weather's been awful, but he is here. He's in the venue. I was afraid for him, but, you know, he's ready to play now. All right, so flight's delayed, but we're no longer delayed. We got Nexi, who's down there with Ogre 1. All right, thanks so much, Rook. Sorry about the delay, but I'm down here with the man himself. It's Ogre 1. Ogre 1, you shocked us all coming out with the Incredibles. Tell us, who's on that roster? Why don't you run us through the roster? Uh, the roster for the Incredibles is myself, Tupac, me off and man train and if to describe that team how would you describe that team uh incredible <laughs> well that's a great answer now i got a personal question for you this is something i really want to know you know in the past you've been known as an incredible slayer like all around slayer back in the halo one days your sniper was incredible you kind of stepped it down support role i'd say for final boss are we going to say see any of the old ogre one coming back with the incredibles uh, yeah, I kind of made a mandatory rule that nobody else on my team is allowed to touch the sniper. And if they happen to kill a guy that has a sniper, they tell me where it is, and they just stay there and guard it. Well, I, well, I really like that rule, and I'll definitely be watching your screen. One last question, and I got to do it to you. I'm sorry. Ogre 1, Ogre 2, the duo is over. Any last words? What do you want the people to remember about the Ogre duo? Uh, just how much they dominated together and uh, the teamwork, I guess. All right, how much they dominate together, the teamwork. Ogre One, thanks so much for joining me. Best of luck in your match. Farouk, back to you. All right, thanks a lot. Nexi down there on the floor. Now, Scott, Chris, Ogre Twins have been playing with each other a long time in the game of Halo, and now they're separate. Chris, you grew up with these guys. What does this mean to these two? They're down there, they're having fun, but is there some, some, some serious blood boiling underneath the surface you know it's it's the ogre twins i grew up with them seven houses down and let me tell you there's i've never met two more competitive people you have those guys no matter whether it was 2v2 basketball playing soccer foosball halo one 2v2s right. i've never seen two players try harder than when they were playing against each other so you know they're down there taking kind of easy on each other but let me tell you once they get geared up once that controller is in their hand they're out for blood i think Ogre one you know He's got a legacy to live up to. He's a three-time national champion. The kid's got talent, so, you know, you can't write off the Incredibles here. I'm excited to see how they play. And he can't lose to his baby brother. <laughs> I can't. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three-minute <laughs> baby brother. But you heard it right here. It's all going down. Puckett, he's known the Ogres for years, and right now, we've never seen him face off before. But this is a can't-miss match, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> 